Okay, guys, let's talk about variable displacement vein pumps. Uh, variable displacement vein pumps. You know, these guys are low pressure, low pressure operation. Uh, usually, most of the variable displacement pumps are piston. Piston pump have higher pressure. Uh, they have all the new ones have a much better uh, control. I would say much. I would say much better. I would say more options of the control, but a variable displacement vein pumps they are in the market they are available you know they're they exist so for example well they exist this is an old dinosaur over here uh, yeah i'll call it dinosaur um it's a very old pump it's a very old pump but if somebody wants a a, a low pressure a variable displacement you, you have a vein pump option, you know, you don't have to go with uh, with a piston pump that, that can offer a higher uh, a pressure rating. Uh, but let's check this one out over here. Uh, I like to go all the way down to the bottom uh, because that's where it gives you the details of the flow rates and the RPM, uh, maximum pressure operation, maximum RPM, uh, pressure rating for setting the range of the um, of the control uh, theoretical displacement you can look at the different displacement of these pumps and maximum input in horsepower so this is where you get all of your information on all of these pumps over here if you're gonna go size one of them uh, if you look at very quickly over here the pressure rating of these units uh, I'm talking about 2000 psi uh, 2000 psi is the maximum range of these of these units then you have the low pressure units that that only work at 700 psi but the standards on on this series 2000 1500 psi so that's the that's the pressure range that you're going to have on these units and you have the 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 float rates over here uh, it goes from agpm uh, all the way up to 70a uh, uh, GPM on the uh, on the bigger unit. So then uh, let's check out the uh, how to build the part number or a reference on how to build the part number. As far as control for these units, uh, we have the most important one: pressure compensated. Everybody always needs a pressure compensated control. That means the pressure goes up uh, once it reaches so a certain level. The pump is going to destroke and sense no pressure. Uh, that's a uh, variable displacement, pressure compensated, the most standard control. Then you have the load sensing control, uh, torque limiter, and then you can have the combination of them, of those three with the uh, multiple control that includes P, L, and T, which is the, uh, which is just the previous ones that I, I discussed, the load sensing, pressure control, and the torque. Uh, other options over here they, on these pumps are basically uh, two pressure controls. Uh, you have switches and when you can um, uh, set it at two different pressures, um, you can select one or the other one. Uh, it is available for these pumps. Uh, it's nothing that, uh, that, um, that you cannot done outside in, in, on your own in the hydraulic system let's say you have a piston pump and you can you can do that with a piston pump usually doesn't do, doesn't have those type of controls though you know these pumps uh, they do have it available integrated already in in the controls uh, but yet the pressures are medium medium to low pressure so uh, another feature of this pump is the uh, uh, screw for maximum volume control so you can destruct the pump and lower the displacement, or you can have it with no volume control. Uh, then uh, we move into the um, into the connections of the pump. Uh, basically, uh, SAE SAE standard, uh, nothing unusual over here. Very standard uh, connections. Uh, seals available. Bunet seals. Viton seals. Uh, then we move to the different displacements of the pump. This is the reference uh, from 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, that's the reference number. And this is the flow rates given at uh, 1,750 7, 1, RPM, uh, which is the uh, standard 1,800 RPM uh, electric motor in your, um, in your um, industrial application. 
Uh, then it gives you over here pressure rating for the control. Uh, 2000, 1700, uh, 1500 PSI, and that also depends on the series. Uh, if you notice over here, 15, 20, 25, 80, 100, uh, 1000, and then you have the same numbers over here at 2000 PSI. So 2000 PSI, you have to look at what uh, size are you working with and what pressure are you going to put on those pumps. Uh, then uh, right hand rotation, left hand rotation, uh, the shaft, uh, key shaft, or uh, a drive through shaft. If you want to um, make it a double pump, you have the, the shaft over here. And if you want a double pump, the shaft goes all the way through and you can put another pump. You can install another pump on the, on the back of this one. So it does have um, a through drive for these units. And these numbers over here, uh, it relates to the design number. Uh, all of these design numbers are basically the 50 is the oldest number and the 63 is the newest number. Uh, this is nothing that you're going to see from the outside of the pump. These are just upgrades that the pump has been having throughout, throughout the years, throughout the time. And it lists the different uh, design numbers. Uh, you would have a problem. Uh, well, yeah, you... You, you might not, let's put it this way, you might not want to install a 50 design if you have a 62 design, you know? So if you want a 62 design, you can install a 62 or a 63. It's not going to be any problem. Just don't go backward um, because um, it is, it's upgrades. Maybe you can live without it, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's better to have the new ones. And all of the pumps that we have, we have a design 63, and it covers all of these designs anyway. So this these numbers over here they become just reference the the higher 63 uh, it will work on all of the all of the other other options that we have. So that's basically the run uh, the overview of these pumps. They have these over here uh, some spare parts for repair, uh, rotors, Viton seals, port plates, pressure rings, uh, some uh, uh, part numbers and uh, some of the sizes, uh, the 10 and the 15, the 20 and the 25, uh, the 40, and the 80 and 100. So we have those spare parts available as well. And uh, let's see, and I think that's pretty much it. We have uh, over here some more uh, kits, and we go down to the reference of the flow rates and pressures. So. Anyway, guys, this is the uh, overview of the catalog or the brochure uh, for the PSV uh, series uh, variable displacement vein pumps. So that's the video for today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.